So, good evening. Tonight is Friday, December the 23rd. We're about tomorrow, or tomorrow is uh, Christmas Eve, so I thought I'm going to make a video for you. For one is, I wanted to update you on uh, what's going on with Clay's car, because we did quite some stuff, but we didn't make any videos. And part of it is because we have to work our way into his KA Jetronic system. And in the process, I was trying to figure out of how we can easily test this and build ourselves an inexpensive tester since the Bosch flow metering units are no longer available. And I came across on Amazon on this diesel kit actually. And uh, this thing is perfect uh, because you got about two ounces on these little cups here. The thing is fairly cheap, about 38 bucks. And you can take these connectors off here, which are on here. And uh, I just heated it up a little bit with my um, lighter, cigarette lighter. I have a cold, just if you're wondering why I sound the way I sound. I came down with a little cold here two days ago. And I bought myself a flaring kit, which I didn't have. And I have the dies coming for the bubble flares we will have to make in for double flares so <clears throat> and i got the uh, m10 by one inverted flare uh, couplings here what do they call them this is these ones here they were fairly inexpensive um fk15 inverted flare fitting for 3 16th tube um, they're actually using 4.75 millimeter tubing on those with a bubble flare. And I happen to have, have a brake line. And we see this Benz brake line here. And you can see we can actually put that straight in. And uh, the difference between 4.7, you can see it fits right in here. If I can get it started. With one hand, it's a little bit tricky. I think now I'm getting it in. Yeah, now it's going in. There you go. So what we're going to do is we basically make us this connection with a bubble flare on it. And then we're going to, you know, make it yay long about to here. And then we put the hose on it and we do this eight times. And then I can actually see uh, on how much each one of these... Um, uh, outputs are actually leaking because like I said this our world champ took his this is not his uh, fuel distributor this is next to one I bought for 560 SEL um, just to have an extra one around and I'm going to rebuild this here one and this is like our R&D thing here uh, we have to check his because when we're in the off position like it is right now two of his ports are closed and six of them have fuel coming out, and I need to know how much. And he has still the other uh, previous uh, aluminum cast unit, which has the adjustments from the top. On these ones here, the fuel flow adjustment is actually here on the bottom. Let me show you one. I took that already apart here. You see, I had the screws here. We loosen, loosen up, and there's really nothing to it. Um, this is the adjustment port and then you need uh, one of those here i don't know what size this is couldn't tell you and you can see it it turns out fairly easy so this is for as more left you go as more fuel flow you're gonna have and you can basically bring this out you can see how dirty this thing actually is because that is an old fuel distributor the plunger moves perfectly or the piston so we can rebuild this but you can see all of this brownish stuff and that is bad smelling and gasoline in it this is basically what that looks like it in there when you take this out see if we can get a good light in there see see anything i don't know yeah well that's the bottom of it this is basically all there is to it uh, where am i with my here here it comes. You can see it. This is the, this is the adjustment screw. Nothing to it, and that will regulate your fuel flow. 
in uh, milliliters per minute and uh, it depends on how far you plunge this in so here you're setting the relationships to each one of them and basically when they're factory made what they do is they turn these in all the way down to the bottom until you bottom out like this here you can see i can still go and then now we're bottomed out now we're going to do one oops one turn two turns that's the starting point and then when we depress this by one millimeter here that would be your idle speed just one millimeter down and then you have to put out i think on the big eight liters uh, eight cylinders it's about five milliliters per minute on each cylinder and then you can adjust them that's basically all there is to it so if you have a real steady hand uh then you can actually adjust this quite well this will take something more precise than this but this is the most cost effective system where you can monitor all eight cylinders in one shot and that is about 38 bucks i bought 10 of these flares i think they were like seven dollars or ten dollars or something like this i would like to say that came from the same company is where this set came from and if you have a flare set for bubble flares then you can make them and they will fit right in here and then you can basically monitor this and this is really the simplest way you can hang it up and then untangle this stuff a little bit so that's what i wanted to share with you i think this came out from amazon with shipping i'm going to put the link in for this here and these nuts, these flare nuts, or inverted, what do they call them? Inverted flare fitting, M1, M10 by one millimeter. And they have the right length. You want to have these ones here. I don't know how long they are, but they are long enough because you want to reach the bottom of this. And uh, that is important so you don't have a loose connection in there. The thread has to come out, if I can get them in. Here we go. The thread has to be long enough for you to bottom out without the flare in it. And you can see this, we still have thread left. So they are long enough to actually go all the way in. They're just the right length for this. And once you put the pipe on it, the line, it will come out a little bit further and you have enough push against it but since they have no resistance you know um, there is really not much which can overflow but it will give you immediately an idea on if there's anything wrong if one of the cylinders is leaking like we have with clay's car we can see them immediately and make an adjustment to to stop them and then push the plate down a little bit and we will see on how equal the fuel flow is to give us an idea if it is really far off or if we're close on it or which way we're going with this. So when we do this, that's when you're gonna see Clay the next time. And uh, otherwise I will wish you a Merry Christmas. And if we don't make another video before New Year's, then I wish you a Happy New Year too. Happy Hanukkah to all of the viewers who are celebrating Hanukkah and whatever other holiday you may be celebrating here this weekend and next weekend. You have a great evening.